Hi, I'm Paweł Spechalski and probably the first question I got after I announced that I'm getting the uh, Jumper T18 is um, Paweł, is this thing really a 900 MHz antenna? Because, let's be honest, this antenna kinda looks from the outside as um, a half too short because the 900, 868 or 915 MHz antenna should be around 8 centimeters, 70 something depends how it's built inside but this thing has only like 4 to 5 centimeters uh, on the outside so what is wrong with the antenna? Uh, have they fucked up like for example Eversky fucked up years ago with the first version of R9 and just got completely wrong antenna? Luckily we can check that because not only I know a thing or two about the antennas but I also have the VNA and we'll be just able to see how this antenna behaves. So first of all let's open this this baby up and look what we have. And uh, This is not a straight antenna. This is a small um, whip antenna when this part of the active part of the this is the monopole. Really this is really the monopole. It's not a dipole. Um, not great, not terrible. It will work even probably for the kilometers and this part of the antenna the the coil over here adds inductance to the to the to the antenna and if the antenna increases the inductance that it can be shorter to have the same resonant frequency and because we have a very nice coil over here uh, it's a good sign that indeed this is a around 900 megahertz antenna so um i have my vna uh, sma sma let's connect the antenna to the vna and let's see how this thing resonates so um I was not using my VNA for quite a while and I wonder if this thing still works. And I think I forgot how to turn it on. Pavel, ah, no, it's turning on. So, uh, at 900 megahertz, it shows the VSWR is around eight and a half. Um, that's not the good, so... Oh, whoa, 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 oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm very, very, I'm so sorry, but either there is something bloody wrong with this thing, or this is not a 900 megahertz antenna at all, and I fear that no bloody hell, this is not a 900 Ah, uh, megahertz antenna at all. Uh, so, uh, first of all, it does resonate, yeah, so so to more or less VWR 2 or 3, but at around 700. 40 megahertz, um, not even close to 800 or 900, and there is another small pseudo resonance value at around 1 gigahertz. Um, see, if I will zoom in, oh no, I cannot zoom in. So let's just change the range from, I don't know, 500 megahertz to 1.1 gigahertz. You see how it looks like? Uh, it kinda, kinda resonates at, well, actually exactly 1 gigahertz, 1000 megahertz, and then main resonance frequency is somewhere, somewhere around 730, maybe down to even 750 megahertz, but this is nowhere, really nowhere even close to where the 800, 900 megahertz band is located, so um, Sorry jumper, but um, this is not the correct antenna. I don't know from where you got this Gisless thing, but no, 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 definitely not. Wrong antenna. Um, so um, another problem with the T18? Looks like. Okay, this was definitely a short video because it's a wrong antenna that doesn't even resonate. Close.
closely to the frequency it should be resonating for being the antenna for 868 or 915 MHz R9 radio. So, um, nope, nope, nope. Um, that's all for today. I'm Teledexman. Bye bye.